Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the walkthrough. Hopefully this part won't corrupt like the last epoxy video file did, but we're starting with the mission Beach Rumble, which follows on straight away from the last one, Race the Rail. Sort of like a sequel in a way. And it basically ties us down to pure hatred towards the, the preppies. So I'll let you watch the cutscene, you'll, you'll see why we're going to hate the preps even more after this. Yeah, you want to get a C-785, then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was gonna get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fund turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Here, let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back. I can't see why the, um, the preps are so intent on stealing this. I mean, the shop guy hardly sold it to us, didn't he? I mean, moulded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap. Yep, that's going straight on the mantelpiece. But yeah, so they obviously stole it just to annoy us. So, proves that they are a bunch of dickheads. Sorry for the language, but it's true. But I'm glad that we've got a, um, an ally in Ricky here who suddenly out of the blue just decides to help us. I suppose they offended him, but... It's good of them to help us, and oh, I just fell off the boxy one way. What are they doing in my lighthouse, anyway? It's my lighthouse. Screw the ships, my lighthouse, my rules. Honestly. Sorry, but I, I was I was going to go for him, so I'm gonna, I was like, I'm going to finish this one off. Let's run up again and quickly take care of him. I suppose I could run away and then try and use my slingshot, but, you know, I don't know. Actually, it works quite well, even though it's probably cheating a little bit. But you know what? Life was made for cheating. Now that's a combo. Just jump over his fallen body. Ha ha ha, trash. It's, it's funny, I, I don't recall it being a good thing to punish myself. So let's see, who's on the floor and who's standing up then? I think we've quite literally taken the trash out. Ricky, like, don't hit me. <laughs> what are you doing? Thing is though, which punk's got the trophy? Honestly. No thanks. <laughs> I can afford my own life. <laughs> Good old Ricky. There we go. My beautiful plastic trophy. And then you think we've got a new best friend here, but then he just sort of just leaves us alone. That's all there is to so I can't be seen with you. I, bet you can't beat my I love how he says, I desperately need your help. And it's just like, what, your help as in to beat a record? No thanks. So I've got two missions I can do now. I think I'll go and do Tad's house. So that's quite close, it's just around the, um, oh for God's sake. We're at the stage now where the preps will just like, thump you if, if you even go near them. Or if, or if they even see you, they'll run across the road, dodging cars and traffic to deliberately just punch you in the face. Honestly, can't a guy walk along in peace? But yeah, I'll do Tad's house, because that, that, that's another quite important mission. I'll revenge as it will on Tad, and I'm going the wrong way, brilliant. I'm not another poxy prep. Out of all the gaming factions, um, sorry, student factions, they do annoy me just because of how up their own asses they are, to be honest. Slightly annoying. But anyway, Tad's house. I'll let you watch the cutscene. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid. Help me out, please. Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. 
We've got a house call to make. <laughs> you could probably put Russell in place of the Hulk of the Avengers, and no one would notice. He's the sort of guy you want as a friend and not an enemy, though, to be honest, so that's good in that respect. Poxy, poxy preps, get out of it. He, you might have noticed that um, Russell rode off on a bike just then. I'm slightly worried that that might not have been his bike, but I want him on my side, so I won't reprimand him. Here he is. I'm glad that he knows the way as well, because I wouldn't if it weren't for the help of my trusty sat-nav. Actually, I think someone was on Jeremy Carl the other day, arguing over a sat-nav. I thought that's just pathetic. Even more pathetic than the preps, to be honest. I love how the shopkeeper's also on our side as well, though. I mean, we've only been in Bullworth for, what, a couple of months? And already the people of the town prefer me. It shows just how much they hate the preps, to be honest. You love to hate them. Love to hate them. Now, I love this mission because it's just beautifully simple and beautifully hilarious at the same time. We just throw an egg through every window and then listen to the outraged responses of Tad. What eggs on the carpet? What will Mother say? And I. Did that work? No, I hit. A lower down window instead. Oh no! Mother's favorite maple thorn! <laughs> I know you're out there! The main thing is, I don't even know what maple thorn is. How uncultured I feel. <laughs> I'm through here. Who threw that egg? Oh, hello. He's like, just ro rose up there like a zombie, like, what? Must will take care of the preps, so just. Don't. I don't know, you can get involved if you want to, but it's much easier just to, like. Get on with the um, throwing the eggs in through the windows. They won't do much harm. They, c they don't want to get mud over that aqua base sweaters after all. Muscles, muscles just like no sweat, no sweat. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that one. <laughs> you know, just a bit the greaser. It'll come out. And the prep's running away there, that's how scared of him I, I am. Sorry, that's how scared of me he is, rather. Well, I'm, I'm not scared of him. It's only a prep. Anyway, I'm wearing an aqua base sweater. I thought that just should mean that I can um, get away with this. You know. Can I get out this way? Sure, I'm sure I can get across here. Of course I can. Hey, have a have that, eh? You stupid bloody gnomes. Flipping out, run, 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 run. Even less respect from the preps, if possible. Actually, I might as well just get the bus back. I mean, it's quite late now. Way past my bedtime. And then I get to see what it's like on the academy at night. As you can imagine, the nightlife is strong. There's two venues. There's the boys' dorm and the girls' dorm. As you can expect, the parties are wild. We have pop in various flavors. You all right? How you doing? It's just nice to just get like recognized. Like, hey, how you doing? I'm trying to think. Is there anything worth doing now? Or should I just go to bed? Please. I wish I could do something. I don't think there is, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going back to my dorm. I get. I have an early night for once. I mean, it, it is early. I admit that. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I've ever told you. You can like, you can give people veggies if you go close to them. On using the O button, or you can grope the girl. Flirting, as it were. I, I never understand how that's flirting. I think it's more of an invasion of privacy, to be honest. <laughs> but you know, each to their own. I'll have an early night. Oh, how gee, he does make me laugh. Word up, cool, yo. There's a brilliant scene that you want in the game where he gets proper, like, into, like, using all these... this slang. It just sounds ridiculous. Come on, you're a nerd. Either choose to talk the nerd lingo, or... and dress like one a nerd, or... dress like some sort of cool kid and be done with it. It's never good to mix things. As I found out after many a drunken night of alcohol. It, yeah, that's right, nerd, you tell him. Oh, one can hope. Anyway, I think now we've got a bit of time actually. If, if I'm quick now, I can go and do the mission and weed killer before class starts, which I think will be um, shop. I'm thinking it'll be shop. Just a hunch, as I have seen future parts, which might help me a little bit. But anyway, I'll 
we'll get on with a weed killer, which is quite an interesting mission, because the teacher actually pays you to deface, is it deface, is that the right term? Uh, you know, kill off a weed, as it were, a plant that belongs to Darby Harrington. I'll let you watch the cutscene. Hello? You, boy, don't just stand there. Come and help! What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life and death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. Stereotypical, that is, having an old teacher be forgetful. I think OAPs are a valuable member of our society. Or members, rather. I mean, just think what their organs could be used for. Nah, in all honesty, it would have been a much more interesting turn of events if this mission was to kill Darby Harrington. In all fairness, Weed Killer is strong stuff, and you could say he's a bit of a weed, so it'd probably kill him off, but we're not actually met Darby Harrington yet, they're sort of like they're postponing it for a grand entrance, like trumpets Ooh, playing and loads of people cheering and he comes in going, Thank you, thank you, I love my public. Now for some reason you have to be wearing prep stuff here and have a prep haircut in order to get into hey, um, Harrington House, Looking sharp. which sort of makes nice sense, Is that Aquaberry? but you'd sort of like, right, it's sort of think he'd still recognise you as like, hey, you're, you're that Jimmy Hopkins kid, the guy we've been trying to beat up for the last couple of weeks, and yet he just walks along, just no one even gives him a second thought that Jimmy Hopkins is entering our realm disguised as a prep, I mean, I'd be disgusted if someone tried like to disguise himself as me, to get close to me. Look how nice it is in here, though. I want a suit of armor for my bedroom. Anyway, come up here, though. So I asked mother, through this I big area. How do I we get mean, into this? In anyway. <laughs> so greedy for money, honestly. Now, get the poison and kill the plant. So we're killing a plant here. That's a little bit harsh, I think. <laughs> now, that's its response to jerk about. And oh my god, it's glowing brightly! That's what happens when you use weed killer. The sun goes bright, the sun feels its effects from up there. And there we go, we destroyed a priceless... What's the term? I can't remember. Anyway, now that, now that we've killed the plant, they're like, Oh yeah, it's Jimmy! Hey, wait a minute, you can't be in here! <laughs> it. So I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna bother staying here to get... I could take these guys on. You know I could. Oh, I've got to by the looks of it to get through the doors. Okay, if I have to. Smack, smack, smack. The usual sort of stuff. You think they'd be able to afford some boxing lessons or sort of some proper fighting lessons, but no! And what am I doing? Am I just lying down now? Is that a new tactic? Come on, Jimmy, get up. No idea what I pressed to make you do that. That wasn't it! What was that? That wasn't even a kit. That was like a sort of like a shove with the foot. Like, ugh. <laughs> That's it. Come on, let me through now. That's all I had to do. Just smash it. Oh, that's stupid. How can I get through now? Bloody other doors closed. I guess I have to teach them some manners. Well, you think you'd be able to afford some. And that was probably a bad idea because I hurt myself then. But it's hilarious. Throwing firecrackers. I forget I've got those as well. They're really useful. No, I'm not. Oh, bloody hell. It's a big guy. Look at him, he's huge. That's so unfair. That's not a man, that's a mountain. He's definitely not my age. He's not 15. 
is at least 16, maybe 17 at a push, but anyway, and just casually walk out like nothing happened, and we've got $30 for that. Bribery from the teachers, you know the school's terrible when the teachers are corrupt, making you punish the students, indirectly I suppose, but now, we've got a bit of time before um, next class ends, oh, and I've just gone past the prefect, I should be in class, you know what, Should I throw something at him? No, I'm just gonna run for it, you know. That's just abusing my being out of class. Ah, ha, ha, ha. violence against authority. Brilliant. Now they'll all be on to me. But now we're gonna do shop two. We made it. I should have just been caught by him. I would have got there even quicker. But you know, it's nice to actually get there by my own actions for once. Well, on the plus side, he told us how it was. How it is, rather. So there you go. Right, more of this fixing this stupid bloody bike that never gets fixed. Let's turn the wheel. Then we add some oil. Cracking. Screw something around a bit. Push the wheel. What? So we turned the wheel, then we added some oil to it, and then we screwed the something, screwed the nut and bolt, then turned the wheel again, and the bike's fixed. It's clearly not. It's still missing epoxy wheel. Oh well, we've got a nice new BMX though. See you in the next part.